the stream of geospatially triangular interpolation with Python, SciPy, GeoPandas, and Rasterium. Okay, in this occasion, we have we wanted to to create a um, um, tutorial of where we are going to get a whole procedure of to create a um, triangular interpolation. That was something that was really easy. Um, that was really easy on on QAIS or like any other GIS software. But we are going to explore how we can do this in, in, in Python. Okay, for that we are going to open a Jupyter Lab. Well, an Anaconda. You are going to the, you are going to res, to get in the description of this video the this compressed folder that has the whole script and as well the chip file and the and the folder structure. We strongly recommend that you recreate this on your computer and once you have recreated this on your computer you can work and tweaking this for your own specific purpose okay yeah don't try to do it on like don't try to do it on try to do your your own stuff from the beginning okay because even okay so just place this folder this compressed folder under your documents and then here say cd documents dir and then we have here the the directory as a cd your special point triangulation and then we are going to type jupyter lab okay great i'm going to show you the okay this is the Jupyter Lab, and then I'm going to open a QAIS in order to show you the points. Okay, here, well, I have here a tutorial, so okay, here you have the raster that is where the raster is going to be exported. So I, I'm going to delete this because we are going to create our own raster. And on the check files, we have the interpolated for the points to interpolate, we have the points 3D, these are the points that has these ones has elevation these ones we want to get the elevation and here on the interpolated points I'm going to delete it because these ones are the points to interpolate that has the elevation so I'm going to delete this because this is going to be generated from the script and then I'm going to open a new notebook okay mm -hmm. the new notebook by the way I'm oh, sorry I'm going to, where I'm going to open a new notebook because actually and I think that I have opened ah okay here no here I'm not going to open a new notebook okay I am going to open a new notebook here on the scripts okay here I am going to open a new notebook that it will go triangle that it will call triangle inter something like that okay great mm -hmm. So let's explore what we have here. So here we have the points 3D. That is, this is the our set of points that has this set of point has the an attribute, an elevation attribute. They have it, okay. And then we have another set of points where we want to get. Yeah, we want to get the elevation here, but based on a triangulation interpolation. Actually, is that the, you can do the triangulation interpolation, you can do a, a separate line, green, whatever. I mean, the process won't be so different, okay? But in this case, I wanted to do a triangular interpolation. Yes? Okay, so we want to get this, and then we the one of the outputs is to get the interpolated values of these points and the other is to create a raster file okay so let's start mm -hmm. okay Okay, first we are going to import the required libraries that those are 
Uh, NumPy, YoPandas, Matplotlib, Rasterio. Okay, there are several. There is not. There is not uh, only one. There is not only one um, library for that. There are many, and then there is no even a, a only a unique procedure. There are many procedures that can do the same, and this is kind of a challenge, okay? Because it really depends on your knowledge on Python and the libraries that you get. A process that can do the same work in 50 steps, 10 steps, or maybe five steps. Okay, so we create, we open our points. The, the geometry has the x and y, and the elevation is here as a uh, as an attribute. Okay, then we are going to get an x y z uh, array data. Why? Because uh, in order to insert for the triangular we needed that as an upper array and here you have a point this is a shapely object okay a point okay and then okay so we are going to we iterate and then we create an numpy array and the numpy array has the x y z okay so this one has the x y z okay then we are going well, yes okay the process is not so not so large because now we can create first we can create our triangulation function with the x and the y because this will be the x and the y and then we create the linear interpolation that has the interpolation function plus the set value okay mm -hmm. and then we are going to uh, okay, okay. With this, you have you are already fifty percent of the work. Um, you are fifty percent of the work required for this tutorial. Yep. And then what is next is to we are going to create um, we are going to create an array. Yeah, where we define the output raster resolution. Okay, this is a top something that we can define. Okay, it creates an a range. Okay, of points that has this resolution over extension. Okay, yes, and then it do a loops over the rows, over the chords, and then it it I mean for this loop over the rows and over the co the curves, it will get the set value. Okay. Yes, okay, and then say, yeah. and then since this has a mass, in NumPy it has a mask, and mass value is something that can have a value or it can be false, okay? This is something very tricky, I, I haven't been very familiar on that, so, but you have to filter that for the values, for example, the values that are outside, for example, <laughs> A value that will be here can do not have any value that can interpolate to that okay so it will have a false value but, but in our interpolation needs to have an empty num because you cannot create a, you cannot create rasters with false values okay so with that we are going to with that we are going to to do our interpolation it takes some time it's running Okay, actually, if it is maybe five, it takes less time because it has it runs on several um, it runs on less um, on less number of columns and cells, and there is also always the well, I haven't been into this package of Numba that those are package that are supposedly designed to for parallel computing or something like that. No. I'm not familiar on that. Okay, so here you have this is interpolation, but this is actually this is the x. This is in row and columns, and then the the geospatial is actually inverted. But no worry, we are going to work with that. 
okay we create the affine transformation matrix okay this is the affine transformation matrix yeah that is the one that will convert this into a just partial tiff and then we can okay then we can there is a rasterio package that deals with the crs okay and what this means is how rasterio works with the crs and for example if we are working with epsg in order to define a crs to for rasterio and also for hedal we have to insert it like this it's really simple okay it's really simple if you are ha if you work with a defined coordination system but if you are going with some fancy ones and something like maybe could be more challenging to to define this okay and then with that we create a rust we first we create a raster we create the raster that has the height the width the count the t type the system of reference the transform and then we write on this we write our elevations and then we close if we run this and then i'm going to where we are going to save it in raster file here so if we run this here is our triangle interpolation okay yeah and then okay i will show later on the results and then we open the points to interpolate okay the points to interpolate actually do not have any kind of elevation and then with a code we are going to to create a elevation a call attribute on the on this so I say uh, interpolated points is a copy of points to interpolate and then we create an empty column and then we iterate over the we create iterate over each column and then we do the triangular function for the x and y of the geometry yeah and then we this is the filter if we are dealing with masked arrays okay and then we can save as a chip file and then here on chip files you will see the interpolated points okay and then here actually it's not required to go to QIS to see the results you can do it that as well in, in, in Python where this where the gold values are the input data and the and the interpolated values are the, the these gold values are the input data and these ones are the interpolated data and you also have the raster this is not the not the whole raster this is extension of the raster but just to show you how is the the gradients and the distribution okay great i hope that this tutorial will be helpful for you i did that as a streaming and there were two people connected well um we hope that we can see you in coming tutorials as always we are motivated to to explore um useful stuff in spatial analysis um and water resources our youtube channel has around 6000 followers but our for maybe for the following ones we want to reach it to 10000 followers so if you do a like you're helping us in in growing as a as a great youtube channel okay have a nice day and see you in another tutorials bye bye all the all the data scripts will be on the description of this video see you bye